In digital editions or? In digital editions. Okay. And, and in the PDF also. <laughs> or, or, in, or in reader even. Yeah, not in the PDF also. Okay, so you probably have an issue then between the SWIFT and the FLV, and that security restriction is is being enforced by the by the instance of the player that's running inside of the, the, the PDF engine. Okay. And so you need to address the, the security issue between that SWIFT and that and that FLV. And I suspect it's probably because you've embedded the bytes of the SWIFT into the PDF. Because like I know when you put a SWIFT into a PDF, you can do it in two ways. You can either attach the SWIFT into the PDF file, so the actual like the, the bytes of the SWIFT are in the PDF file. Or you can have a PDF file actually contains a reference to a Swift that's on the network or on the file system somewhere. Right. And this all works in the browser file. It's just like when you get into the digital edition the PDF. Thing. Yeah, because the uh, the PDF that digital edition is probably reading is, is digital edition is probably downloading it to the file system and loading it off the file system. When in the browser, the, the PDF and the browser, the PDF engine in the browser knows what URL is associated with that PDF. There's a domain that the URL is associated with, which means it can realize that that domain is the same domain as the Swift, which is the same domain as the FLV, and it all just sort of works. Sorry to get swapped topic, but I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm curious yeah. about the other stuff. Sorry. Cool. Okay, so thank you. That's weird. Thanks a lot, Chris. Yeah, we uh, invited Chris along because we figured we'd bring him here and get a couple pints in him and then uh, get him on the bus and maybe get some features implemented that we want <laughs> in there. Um,